Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is to uh, bring up a really quick subject I wanted to talk about to you guys and uh, now let me pretty much like cut to the chase with this because it's going to be a little weird if I don't uh, basis, based on all the things I have to go over. Um, so really I need money right now and what I'm looking to do is uh, trade items in other games uh, out there you know I'm I don't really want to do Guild Wars 2 that much although I will if uh, the person has a sweet offer uh, but the games are like Path of Exile uh, the Seeker World if anybody still plays that uh, Star Wars I can do um, and you know really any other game I've covered with my website EverQuest I still got some stuff on and I wanted to trade items in those games for items in Diablo 3 and uh, the reason for this is because I need money right now because I need to uh, get an injection for my knee that my insurance isn't covering and it's going to be a lot out of pocket uh, and that will make it easier for me to you know walk around do day-to-day -day life you know bend it stretch it all that fun stuff um, and uh, I feel as if it's better to you know trade items from game to game than coming out and asking for a donation because uh you know asking for a donation to someone just or even someone just buying items from you in a game feels too impersonal to me you know i really like the idea of you know say a gamer has always wanted to try out path of exile and he's getting a little bored of guild wars 2 right now or something like that and uh you know he just doesn't want to take on that monumental you know starting the game and uh you know, going through all of the dredging first early stuff, or maybe, you know, it, he feels the same way about uh, Guild Wars 2, and they play another game. And uh, what I like about that is, you know, a lot of people used to play Diablo 3 and pretty much disregarded everything they had in that game, and their account just sits there, and they know that they're never, ever, ever, ever going to go back to the game. And, uh, you know, the idea of being able to trade items... Uh, your old crappy Diablo 3 items that you have absolutely no interest in anymore for items in a game that just came out that you're just going to or uh, a game that you really want to play it's really a uh, a fun idea that uh, clicks with me just because I've I've always liked that there used to be a website for that out there where you could uh, meet up with people to trade items between games because as far as I'm concerned that doesn't really break any code of conduct to me because uh I mean, think about it. Um, how cool would it be to just, you know, get started in a game that you've always wanted to try for items in a game that you no longer care about at all, and you can have, you know, you can walk into the game, you could be that big, twinked-out character and just slaughtering monsters, and everyone's like, oh my god, and how long have you been playing for? Is this, like, your twink all? And you're like, nah, first character. You know? <laughs> like, that's a really cool thing to do. And, you know, it makes so things so much funner and so much easier and it makes the game a lot more fun and after all that's what we play these games for right fun indeed we do so you know there's always got to be a fun a fun little game out there uh, for you like that and it's usually like a break in between the games that you actually take seriously you know and uh, really I just wanted to extend that offer to anybody out there you know it's kind of like a you scratch my back, I scratch your back uh, type deal. If uh, if you'd be willing to trade for stuff in Diablo 3, you know, I'd be able to sell the stuff in Diablo 3 and make money off of it. Although, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, if you only have like 3 to 5 million gold on your account in Diablo 3, sorry, it's just not going to, the. it's not even going to be worth it. Stuff in Diablo 3 is not worth, uh, 3 million gold is useless nowadays like 50 million gold or more or a few items worth that much or if you have a huge stockpile of like flawless gems and stuff like that uh it'll only take you about an hour and a half to two hours to patch diablo 3 probably not even that depending on how long ago you haven't uh you know that's from a fresh install if you just have to patch the game you'll probably patch the game within uh maybe three hours or uh <laughs> sorry 30 minutes and uh, you'll be able to log in, check what you have, and then shoot me a private message on YouTube or something like that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, of course, as always, like, comment, and, and subscribe. And um, hopefully a few guys bite and, uh, you know, you can, get all, you can get rid of your crap in D3 and get some fresh crap in Guild Wars 2. All right, guys. Or uh, any other game of your choosing, I should say. Aside from that, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you guys later.